What is good, Red Rebel Nation? It's your boy, Deuces. I am back once again today. Guys, I have another one about Quentin Simon, and it's actually by Cinema Shogun again, so I'm actually going to be reacting to this video. Cinema Shogun has a pretty good point again. I know I go after his videos a lot because actually his points are pretty much set in stone, guys. So we have OMG, Quentin Simon's grandfather was killed last night. So that is actually his name of his video. Without further ado, guys, love yourself, like yourself, be nothing but yourself, like, subscribe, channel, it's highly appreciated. Without further ado, guys, let's get right into the video. This, but when I first started covering the Quentin Simon case, I made a point really early on. And that point was that I felt like there was a, a negative energy surrounding Quentin's family. Because I mean, Quentin's uncle is in jail for murder. Quentin's great-grandmother lived right next door to someone who had their kids buried in their backyards and they were missing for years. And I mean, just overall. Things are right off the bat, guys. You see that Quentin Simon actually come from a troubled family anyways. You know, people getting in trouble, people actually burying people in their backyards. Who does that stuff? That is disgusting. So what, like, what makes Leilani any different? I mean, we could actually, you know, throw punches at her and say that she's a bad mom, she's this and that. But what it boils down to is actually, you know, finding Quentin, Quentin and that's it. Anyways, guys, let's get, jump right back into the video. Looking into this family, looking into the situation, there was so many bad things and weird things happening around this family. And I told you all, and I warned you all, that sometimes in life, you will run into people like that you will run into people that just have like this dark rain cloud following them everywhere they go. And I very much believe that Quentin's- I mean, look how happy Leilani looked in that picture, guys. You know, it makes you wonder what runs through people's heads. What happened that morning? What happened that night? You know, I mean, they could say what happened and we actually kind of know what happened, but what actually ran through her head when she actually knew that her, well, her son was gone or missing. As we know, she didn't even put his face on shirts or anything, wanted anything, guys. So what actually runs through her mind? You can see someone happy, but depression and stuff is a silent killer. And you never know what, men you know, mental health is a huge thing these days. Anyways, guys, let's get right back into the video. This family has that rain cloud constantly over them. Now, is this bad karma? Is this a generational curse? I mean, I don't know. Maybe it's just a bunch of coincidences, right? A bunch of coincidences. But regardless of that, in my opinion, when I notice that someone has too many things happening around them, when I notice that they always got drama, there's people dying, there's anything like that, I separate myself. I will never, ever, ever hesitate to separate myself from someone. If I feel like they are steering me in the wrong direction, if I feel like they may cause some harm to my life or anything like that, and you all should feel the same. I don't care if it's your best friend. I don't care who it is. If you're starting to sense that vibe, separate yourself before it's too late. And that goes back to, you know, choosing your friends wisely, guys. We should all, you know, f true friends are far and few and in between. So choose your friends wisely. Use your inner self to actually, you know, judge what who someone is. You know, a lot of people says don't judge upon the character, but how can you not? You see what I'm saying? It's just because someone has tattoos on their neck or face or something does not make them people a bad person either. So anyways, guys, let's jump right back into the video. Well, like I was just saying, this family, they have this dark energy. And I believe even people who interact with this family, it rubs off on them as well. Now, Quentin Simon's biological father, Bubba, I think he's going through a lot right now because he lost his child. And unlike Leilani, he's totally separated from the situation and I just wonder how that feels. I don't feel like he was a big part of Quentin's life. But, but I would imagine that he feels some type of guilt, some type of anguish. Maybe almost a sense of, of not being able to control the situation. You know what I mean? Like a sense of helplessness about what happened to Quentin. Well, I believe it was... Uh, roughly about last week, maybe a week and a half ago, that Quentin's grandmother passed away, Bubba's mom. 
she passed away. And, you know, I felt so bad because, I mean, I feel bad when anyone's mother passes away. I've dealt with that myself. But also because he just lost his child. So it was like back to back. He lost Quentin and he lost his mother. Well, this morning, news rolled in that his father was killed last night. Yes, Quentin Simon's grandfather was killed last night. So, before I even go any further in this video, let me say this. By, by if any off weird chance that Bubba is watching this video, I want you to know that my thoughts and my prayers are with you. And I can guarantee you that there are hundreds, if not thousands, of people watching this video that feel the same. I really feel for you. And I can't imagine. So can you imagine having Quentin missing and then you have your father that was killed and the grandmother that was killed as well? Can you imagine that stuff, guys? I couldn't even imagine that. Three family members and they haven't even found Quentin? Look, a lot of people is judging YouTubers outside the house, and that's up to them. But what I will say about this, only thing we want is actually Quentin brought back home. DNA, that's what we need. And people is actually searching every day in the landfills and haven't found nothing, guys. Not one, find, not one thing have they found. It's absurd to me. And I don't understand how they haven't found something unless, well, it is what it is. He was, in, he was put in a trash truck and compacted and then spread through the landfill but you think they would find something guys anyways let's get right back into the video what you're going through right now you know that is i don't even want to put myself there mentally but i just want you to know if you're watching this that there are people out there who feel for you as well and our thoughts are with you now going forward like I said um, just a second ago, coincidences happen, right? But I can't help but feel like there's a negative energy, a bad juju, if you will, surrounding this family. And I feel like this is almost further proof of it. Bubba lost his child, his mom, and his father all within the span of a couple of weeks. And it seems like anyone tied to this family, they all got something going on. There's something, tragedies happening all around them. And I would warn the people who are sitting outside their house every day and you're running around screaming right next to their front yard, I'm warning you all, be careful. Because not only are you bringing negativity to the situation, you are most likely sucking in all type of negative energy from this house. And I'm not a, a really like spiritual energy type of person. I'm not a psychic. I'm none of that. But I'll be damned if there isn't something going on with this family, a dark energy around this family. Too many weird things happen around this family and to people connected to this family. So all I'm saying, if you want to go out there and you want to scream and you want to yell and you want to have a party in front of their house, don't be surprised if some negative energies follow you home. But let's go ahead. See, and that's another thing, guys. We're all afraid of, well, the YouTubers or other people being outside the house protesting outside of Leilani's house. And people come up with a gun. There's already been a gun pulled on people. There's already actually been people actually arrested. So what else is going to go on when people's actually trying to po protest outside of this house? I think it all needs to just stop and people need to go to different ways and let the FBI or the cops actually handle what they need to be handled. Anyways, guys, let's get right back into the video. Go ahead and get into this statement that was released about Quentin Simon's grandfather from the Burke County Sheriff's Office. <clears throat> The Burke County Sheriff's Office is assisting the Georgia State Patrol with a pedestrian fatality that occurred this morning on the 9900 block of Highway 23 between Claxton Road 
and Brigham Landing Road. When deputies arrived on scene this morning around 7.20 a.m., they found a deceased white male laying off the road. Preliminary investigation indicates the male was struck while on the road by an unknown vehicle. We are asking the public's assistance in identifying the deceased male and locating the person and vehicle responsible for striking this individual. The male subject is described as white, approximately 50 years of age. He was wearing a blue hoodie and gray shorts. He is approximately 5'11 and weighs about 290 pounds. It is believed the male was struck between 5.38, um, between sometime around 5.30 a.m. and when he was discovered. Sheriff Williams is offering a reward for the information that leads us to the individual responsible for this hit and run fatality. Callers may remain anonymous and call 706-554-2133 or reach out by Facebook Messenger on Burke County Sheriff's Office page or you can send an email to j.wilds at bcso-ga.org. So he was killed in a hit and run fatality. And I mean, like I said, weird things happen. But, but I'll be damned if there's not so much stuff connected to this family. Now, unfortunately, I could and guys, a lot of weird things do happen. I mean, there's some things happen that's unexplainable. Look at the people that goes out hunting or in forest and actually ends up missing. And they're never heard from again. Look at cars that's never found ever. But we know the family member or loved one is gone because they haven't showed back up home. And we can't find them. There's so much weird stuff that actually happens in this, well, planet Earth, this world, countries. So with that being said, guys, let's get right back into the video. I can tell you from firsthand experience that cases like this are rarely solved unless there's some type of traffic cam, which is way more likely these days. But then again, in this area where this happened, I'm not sure if they have a lot of cameras and stuff, you know, around. But I actually lost my best friend to a situation like this where their body was discovered on the side of the road. And the only explanation we were given was that it must have been a hit, and run, a hit and run that happened in the middle of the night. Now, that story never sat right with me, but no one could ever find out what really happened. This situation seems the same. It is believed that he had a, a tire issue, a flat tire or something, and he was walking to get help, maybe walking home, and he was struck along the way. And of course, whoever struck him kept on driving. We may never know who, who it was. But it blows my mind almost that while we have an investigation underway trying to figure out what happened to Quentin, we now have another investigation underway trying to figure out what happened to Quentin's grandfather. Simultaneously, as investigators in Georgia are investigating what happened to Quentin. Investigators in Georgia are also investigating what happened to Quentin Simon's grandfather. Now, I know the way YouTube works. I know people are gonna come up with some wild, off-the-wall theories. I don't think this is in any way, shape, or form tied to what's going on with Quentin at all in the least bit. I just think, like I've been saying over and over again in this video, that this family has this negative, crazy-ass energy surrounding them, and people are being directly affected by it, or indirectly affected by it. In my opinion, it's just when too many things happen to one family, it, it's hard to ignore. It's really hard to ignore. Is it karma? I don't know. I don't know. But I do know that I feel for Bubba, and, and what he's going through right now, it's almost like he lost everyone in a span of a week or a week or two. And I hope that somehow he's able to hold his head up. I hope that he talks to people if he needs to talk to people. I hope he has some type of support system. 
because he's damn sure going to need it going through all of this. But let me know your thoughts about this down in the comments. Look, guys, everybody wants to know about Quentin. All we want is little baby Quentin found. DNA, whatever it may be. And Leilani is going out partying and all this other stuff, guys. There's people outside Leilani's house. There's people coming up missing. There's bodies being found in backyards. Their history is actually being pulled up. I'm sure the FBI, the cops actually know about this. And I'm sure they're actually look, watching Leilani. Plain and simple, guys. Anyways, guys, I'm going to get out of here. Go check out Cinema Shogun's channel. Anyways, love yourself, like yourself, be nothing but yourself. Like, subscribe to the channel. It's highly appreciated. Without further ado, guys, your boy Deuce is out. Thank you, guys.